Welcome to my channel. Let's start off in a comfortable seated position. And we're really going to take our time to tune into our body, how we're feeling, how the breath is flowing in and out. And maybe just by bringing our awareness to it, the breath is going to become a little bit calmer, deeper, fuller. Keep noticing the breath throughout the entire class. Let's place our hands on the knees. As we inhale, open the chest coming forwards. Exhale, rounding the back, really rounding and putting the stomach in. Inhale, coming forwards. Exhale, rounding back. So we're creating a wave motion in the spine finding the connection of the movement and the breath. And again, rounding back and forwards. And from here, we're going to take circular motions. It's beginning to gently warm up the body, feeling the connection of the sits bones down into the floor. and change the direction of the circles, making it as big or as small as feels good for your body right now. Coming back to center, hands on the floor and just walk them forwards. Allow the top of the head to drop down. See how much you can release your shoulders, your head, the muscles of the face. Focus on bringing the breath to the back part of your lungs and the sides, expanding the rib cage each time you inhale, each time you exhale, soften even more. Walk your hands over to the right. Bring the top of the head a little closer towards your right knee. And we're just going to stay there, softening the body, listening to the breath. Each exhalation is an invitation to release a little bit more. And then walking over to the left side, dropping the head over. Relaxing the shoulders, the neck, the muscles of the face. Just really allowing the body to drop and yield to gravity. Coming back to center, drop the head even further before rolling up one vertebra after another. And if possible, we're going to change the cross of the legs and start that wave motion forwards and backwards. Really taking the time to bring the awareness to the breath, noticing the sensations in the body. And again, just circling, making it as big or as small that feels good for you. Let's change the direction of the circle, flowing with the breath. And again, bringing the hands towards the floor, walking them forwards, dropping the top of the head down, really taking our time to breathe, to relax, preparing ourselves for the work ahead. Rolling up one vertebra after another, after another. Place your right hand behind your head, lengthen the top of the head up. Have your left hand on the floor to the side and side bend over to the left. And bring the head up. Again, first lengthening and then side bending, opening up the right side of the ribs. Coming back. Again, use a hand behind the head to help you lengthen the neck, 
opening the ribs just a little bit more. Coming up, let's change hands, left hand behind your head, right hand on the floor, side bending over to the right, and coming back, using the hand to lengthen the neck, right hand on the floor, and coming back. Again, bend over, open the left side of the rib cage, and coming back change again so your right hand is lengthening the neck up and side bend over to the left this time we're going to twist bringing the right elbow towards the left knee and then opening it up gazing upwards again rotating twisting pulling the stomach in and opening it up inhaling again twist we're going to stay there each exhalation, deepen the stomach, open in between the shoulder blades, coming back, opening, coming up, and let's change sides. Side bend over to the right, and then twist, bringing the left elbow towards the right knee, and opening it up, gazing upwards. Again, twist, rotating around, and opening it up. Twist, really deepen the stomach, drop the head over and opening it up, gazing upwards and coming back. Let's move to an all fours position on the hands and the knees with the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers, you can tuck the toes and we're going to round the spine Exhale, 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 pull the stomach in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, arch the upper back and slightly bend the elbows back. Again, rounding through the spine, bringing the tailbone towards the top of the head, lifting the stomach. Inhale, lengthen, open the chest and bend the elbows back. Again, round, drawing the stomach in, lengthening the spine. Inhale, lengthening it in the other direction. This time, round the back. Keep rounding, taking your hips back towards your heel, pulling the stomach in even more and transferring the weight back. Going back, using the stomach to really open up the back and forwards. Round the spine, pull the stomach in. And from here, we'll go to a pyramid position or a downward facing dog, lengthening the spine walking the feet, bending one knee and the other. Keep lengthening the arms, lengthening the spine. Then reach both heels down towards the floor. Reach the sit bones up on a long diagonal. Keep lengthening and breathing. And let's walk the arms back. Hold on to each elbow with the opposite hand. And just sway very gently from side to side, creating more and more length through the spine. Let the arms go, start curling the tailbone down, lifting the stomach up, coming up one vertebra after another. Place both hands on the lower stomach, taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, feel the engagement of the pelvic floor and the deep stomach muscles. As you inhale, allow the belly to be soft. Exhaling, gently lifting up. Inhale, releasing that down. Keep one hand in the front, place the other hand on the back. And as the hand on the front lengthens up, feel the hand on the back lengthening the tailbone down. And release. Lift the stomach up. Lengthen the tailbone down. Let's change hands and one more time as you lift the stomach up, feel the tailbone lengthening down and release. And again, lifting, drawing the stomach in as the tailbone reaches down towards the heels and relax. Take the hands back on the sacrum, reach the hips forwards, lengthen the spine and gaze up towards the ceiling and coming back. Again, lengthening the spine, the hips come forward, 
go back as far as feels good for you. Coming back, we're going to roll all the way down. Use the hands to pull your head forwards just a bit more. And then holding each elbow in the opposite hand, maybe switch the hand that was in front before and swaying from side to side, feeling how that can elongate the spine. And then we're going to walk the hands forwards. So we're back in that triangular shape in that downward facing dog. Sweep the right leg up, bend the knee and open that right hip. Press both hands into the floor, long spine. And then square off the hips round the back, bring the knee towards the forehead, forwards towards the knee. Step the right foot forwards into a long lunge. And we're just going to rock forwards and back a little bit, reaching the top of the head forward and the heel back. Open the right arm up towards the ceiling, open the chest. You might want to take that little rocking motion here as well, forwards and backwards. Bring both hands to the floor, bring the back leg in a little bit, drop the head over and again maybe playing with rocking forwards and backwards. So as you go back you lift up the toes, as you come forward you lift up the back heel and then settling down relax the head over and take that right leg back. Sweep the left leg up, open the hip, bend the knee and then square it off round the back, hover for a moment, really pulling the stomach in before bringing the front leg forward to a lunge and rocking forwards and backwards. Open the left arm up to the ceiling, open the chest and again maybe playing with that rocking forwards and backwards in this position. Put the hand back the back leg in a little bit, rock forwards, lift up the back heel, rock back, lift up the front toes, rocking forwards and backwards and then just letting it all drop over, relax the weight of the head down and bring that leg back, bring the body forwards into a plank position and rocking forwards forwards and backwards, keeping the stomach pulled in and then bending both knees over to the right, twist over and coming back and bend the knees over to the left, coming back, twist to the right, back to the plank, over to the left and back one more time into that pyramid position, reaching the heels down, the hips up really long through the spine, through the arms. Walk the feet forwards towards the front of the mat, opening up the feet so that you're in a wide-legged squat and rocking a little bit from side to side. You might want to keep your hands on the floor or if you feel comfortable, bring your hands towards the center of your chest. Use the elbows to open up the knees lengthen through the spine and then bring yourself to a sitting cross-legged position. Feel the connection of the sits bones down into the mat as you reach the top of the head up and for a moment we'll come back to the breath noticing how it flows in and out. Reach the left arm up but let's side bend over to the right. We're going to go over so that the left hip comes off the floor and then bring it down. Bend the right elbow, really drop over towards the right and then reach your left sit bones down. Again, rocking onto your right sit bones and lengthening the left one down. Then reach the left arm back towards the floor until you feel that stretch on the left side of the neck. Drop the head a little bit more and coming back to center, let's go to the other side. Reach the right arm, side bend over to the left so much that your right sit bones come up and then press it back down. Drop your weight over to the left and then reach the right sit bones down to the floor. 
little rocking movement, then keeping the weight on both sits bones as you reach the fingers of the right hand towards the floor, getting that stretch on the right side of the neck. Drop the head over and bring it back. Change the cross of the legs and let's take a twist with the right hand on the left knee. Left hand behind you, lengthening up to twist. And then place your left hand behind your head. And we're going to bring the ear towards the knee as you open the chest. We're opening the left side of the ribs. And coming back, let's take that to the other side. So first finding that length and that rotation. Bring the right hand behind your head, lengthen it, and bring the ear towards the knee, opening the right side of the ribs. Let the head drop even further. Deep breath. And coming back, coming to the front of the mat with your knees bent, Hands on the front of the shins, lengthen up, and then as you exhale, round the back and reach the fingertips forward. As you exhale, go back just a little bit more and coming up, reach the fingertips forward. Again, round back. So you're trying to get your sacrum and your lower back onto the mat and coming back. Rolling sacrum, lower back. Pull the stomach in and coming up. You sure want to go just a little bit further. Sacrum, lower back, middle back and coming up. Rolling lower, middle, upper back almost all the way. Coming back. And next time we're gonna take it really slowly, going vertebra by vertebra, all the way till your head reaches the floor. So have your hands against your thighs. We're gonna press the thighs away and release. As you push your hands into your thighs, think of engaging your pelvic floor muscles and your stomach muscles lifting up towards the head. Again, press, opening the hip creases, feeling the depth of the work in the center, and release. Again, push with the hands in one direction, lift the pelvic floor and the stomach in the opposite direction. And then place your hands on the floor. Just going to curl the hips just a little bit off the floor and release. Again, curl the hips just a little bit, really feeling that connection of the pelvic floor and drawing the stomach in. And release down. Now we're going to take the full pelvic curl, rolling up one vertebra after another after another. Really going to take the time to slowly roll down. So feel the vertebra in between your shoulder blades and the middle back and the lower back. And the pelvis. And then just let the hips sink down into the neutral position. Really relax the hips down. And again, we're going to roll up one vertebra after another after another. And slowly rolling down, working one vertebra after another after another. Curl the pelvis up, push the feet into the floor, take a breath, exhale, rolling down, getting as much movement and articulation in between the vertebra as possible. Again, lift the hips up. This time I'm going to reach the arms up and back. Keep reaching the arms back and slowly feel the vertebra in between the shoulder blades, middle back, lower back, and then allow the hips to settle down. Clasp the hands behind the head, really lengthen the neck. Exhale, bringing the head and shoulders up. Each time you inhale, lengthen even more. Each time you exhale, pull the stomach in even more. And we're going to keep the head exactly where it is and just roll the hips up a little bit. Small pelvic curl. 
and allow them to drop down. Lengthen the tailbone away from the top of the head as you lift up and allow the hips to sink back down. Again, lift the hips up this time, let the head and shoulders drop down. Lift the head and shoulders up, rolling one vertebra after another and drop the hips. So it's like a seesaw movement. The hips float up, the head reaches down, the head lifts up vertebra by vertebra, the hips drop down towards the floor. Lift the hips up, feel that spinal articulation, bone by bone down. Lift the head up, drop the hips down, keep lengthening the spine. Then reach the hands forwards, hold on behind your legs, use your hands to pull yourself up just a little bit more. And bring the head and shoulders back down. We're going to take one leg to a 90-90 degree angle. Place both hands against that thigh. Think of pressing your thigh in towards you and your hands are resisting and release. So as you press the thigh and resist with your hands, notice the engagement of the pelvic floor muscles and of the stomach muscles. Again, bring the knee in, resist with both hands. Release, press the knee in, push away with your hands pelvic floor and stomach engaged. Let's move on to the other side. Bring the left leg up, bring it in towards you and the hands resist and release. Try and bring the knee towards the chest but the hands are pushing away and release. Again, press, engage your pelvic floor, engage your stomach and release. Again, press it in, resist and release. Bring the right leg up, press the left hand against it and then reach the right hand and the left leg away from each other and bring them back. As you reach them away, press your knee into your hand and your hand into your knee and bring it back. Draw your stomach in, lengthen the fingers away from the toes and bring it back. And really pushing the knee against the hand and the hand against the knee and change to the other side. So the right hand against the left knee, stretch the left hand away from the right leg and back. Stretching it away, drawing the stomach in, coming back. Press hand against knee, stretch the opposite leg and arm away from each other and back again imprint into the mat and coming back. Coming to a single leg stretch variation. So as the knee comes in, press the hands against it. Each time you change legs, really draw the stomach in, resist against the hands with the knee and the knee with the hands. And then we'll continue into a crisscross, hands clasped behind your head, bringing the opposite shoulder to the knee. Just a few more like that and relax, hug the knees into your chest and let's place the feet on the floor, hands on the stomach. We're going to open the right knee towards the right side. Think of really initiating coming back from the stomach muscles. Just the right knee drops open as much as possible but without moving the left leg and bring it back. Opening the right knee, really let it drop open but keep the left leg where it is. Bring that right knee back. Open, drop it, really let it drop to the side. This time we're going to lift the left side of the hip up and drop the left side down. So it's a little rocking movement. Each time the right knee comes closer to the floor and then a little bit further. Rock to the right and back. So really lifting the left side of the hip. Bring it back and let's take all that to the left side. Allow your left knee to drop open and initiate from the center to bring it back. Let the left knee drop open. Keep the right leg exactly where it is and bringing it back, opening, let the knee drop down towards the floor and stomach brings it back, 
drop to the floor and then we're going to reach that right knee forwards and let the right hip come up so it's a little rocking movement to the left and back left knee gets closer to the floor and come back lift and up and bring it back again drop your right knee to the floor this time slide your right foot so it's behind your left ankle and then bring the left knee in towards you hold on with your hands and as you exhale lift the head towards the knee bring the knee towards the head and relax the head down again exhale drawing the stomach in nose to knee knees to nose drop the head down let's circle the leg and the hip socket using the hands to create these little knee stirs in one direction and then circling in the opposite direction feeling the movement of the leg and the hip socket place the hands behind the leg and then stretch it up take a breath in exhaling bringing the head towards the leg leg towards the head inhale relax the head down again exhale draw the stomach in as you lift the head up and lengthen that leg release the head down open the arms to the side and take the leg over to the right use the center to bring it back and opening to the left again taking it over to the right as far as feels good bringing it back opening it to the left Again, really lengthen the leg towards the floor use the center to bring the leg back and then open it over to the left over and this time we're going to go all the way to the floor hold on wherever feels comfortable feel your left shoulder open and we're going to take a moment just to come back to the breath you might choose to stay there or bend the top knee and bring the leg underneath the bottom one for a slightly deeper stretch slowly coming back stretch your legs out and then bend the knees in and we'll do that to the other side open the left knee bring the left foot behind the right ankle and then bring the right knee into your chest pull it in and as you exhale lift the head towards the knee the knee towards the head and relax it down and drawing the stomach in lengthening the neck to bring the head up bring the knee towards the chest and relax the head we'll take the little knee stirs creating lots of movement of the leg in the hip socket and reverse the direction of the circles use your hands to help you to create those nice full circular motions stretch the leg up hold on behind your leg and pull your leg towards your head head towards your leg pull the stomach in and drop the head down again exhale draw the stomach in lengthen the leg lift the head up relax the head down open the arms to the side and let's take the right leg over to the left let the hip come up a little bit and then bring the hip back down and open the leg to the right again reaching it over maybe go a little bit further this time lift the hip up a little bit more and then bring it back down and open it to the right Take the leg across, go as far as you want this time, keeping the chest open, bringing it back, opening it all the way to the right. Bringing it back, take the leg all the way to the floor, and we're going to stay there. You might want to keep that leg long, or you might want to deepen the stretch by bending the knee and putting it underneath the other one and take your time
time to breathe deeply, allow your body to soften and relax down into the floor. Bring the legs back, hug behind the knees, lift up your head. I'm going to rock a few times up and down, massaging through the spine. And then come into a sitting position, feet together, knees apart. Inhale, lengthen forward, and as you exhale, drop the head over. I'm going to take a few moments just to really let the head relax, relax the muscles of the neck and the face, the shoulders. And each time you exhale, lift the stomach up. We're going to roll up one vertebra after another and place the hands behind. Push the hands down, lift the hips up, lengthen the neck, open the shoulders and bring the hips back down to the floor. Again, press down, lift your hips up, really lengthening the spine, lengthening the neck. Take your head back as far as it feels comfortable, opening the shoulders, and come back down. Stretch the legs out long, reach over, hold on wherever you feel comfortable holding. Just going to relax the head over. Again, just really releasing into gravity before rolling up. And then we're going to take a roll down one vertebra after another, after another. Reach the fingertips back really long through the entire body and roll up. Lift up the head, peeling up vertebra by vertebra, reaching the fingertips forwards as you reach the stomach back. Again, rolling back trying to work through one vertebra at a time. Stretch the arms up and rolling up vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. Deep stretch forwards and place the arms back. Press the hands into the floor, lift the hips up, open the chest, lengthen the neck and bring the hips down. Again, press down, lift the hips up, opening the shoulders, lengthening through the spine, coming back down. Let's clasp the hands behind the head. Use that to lengthen the neck and roll down again, one vertebra after another. Lift the head and shoulders up. If you need some help, use your hands to help you come up and then place your hands back behind your head. And use the hands to lengthen the neck, bringing the forehead towards the knees. And rolling back vertebra by vertebra. Head down, lengthen. Again, coming up. Bring the head towards the legs. You relax over. Coming up to a long spine. And let's open the legs to a wide position. Open the arms to the side. We're going to twist and take a saw. So the left hand's over the right leg. Stretch the right arm back. Reach in between both arms. Coming up to center. Let's go to the other side. Reach one hand forwards. Reach the other arm back. Relax the head over. And coming up. Again to the first side, twist and then just really relax the head over. Try and melt into this stretchy, slow variation of a saw. Coming back, let's go again to the other side, reaching the arms, dropping the head, really relaxing the head down towards the floor. Coming up, let's bend the knees, holding on behind the shins, open the legs to an open leg rocker. Legs are shoulder width apart. We're going to rock back and come forwards, finding the balance. Rocking back and up. Again, rocking. Coming up, find the balance. Rock and up. Close the legs. Reach the fingertips towards the toes into a teaser. Let's take the legs overhead. Support your lower back with your hands. Reach one foot up towards the ceiling. Lengthen both legs out. And bringing that leg back down. Let's switch other leg reaches up. Think of lengthening both legs. 
Make sure there's no tension in the neck. Take both legs back. Stay there for a moment. Really lengthening the legs back. Bring the hands so they're pressing into the floor and slowly roll down one vertebra after another. And we'll go for a corkscrew. So both legs long, we're gonna circle them around. You might want to keep the circles pretty small or you might want to gradually increase making the circles as big as feels right for you. Let's change the direction of the circle, reaching the toes towards the ceiling and then circling around, getting maybe a little bit bigger each time. Hold on to your feet or to your shins or anywhere else. And just happy baby rock a little bit from side to side. The head relaxing into the floor and let's come to lying on our sides. Bend both knees. We're gonna stretch out the front of the thigh. So holding on to your ankle and take the leg back as far as you need to feel that stretch. We're gonna stay there and breathe each time you exhale, think of gently drawing the stomach in and creating lots of length through the spine, keeping the shoulder open. And then I'm gonna turn in and turn out, bringing the knee to the knee and then toes to toes and the knees up. See how much you can internally rotate and externally rotate, really squeezing the movement in and out in rotate out in we're going to stay this squeeze even more and then reach that leg out keep it long we're going to lengthen to lift and lengthen to lower reaching away to lift and lower creating lots of length in the leg lots of length through the spine really reaching the toes away from the top of the head we're going to flex a foot, keep it about hip height, and we're going to take little circles as if you're drawing with a heel on the opposite wall. And change the direction of the circles. Keep reaching the heel away from the top of the head, stretching that leg out long. And we're going to come up to a sitting position, reach that leg out long, sweep the top arm up so you're really stretching the side of the ribs and from here bring the knees together we're going to press the forearm down reach that top hand up and really lift the side of the waist as high as possible set the hips down gently and again push down with the forearm lifting the side of the body reach the fingers up to the ceiling setting it down Let's take a mermaid with the knees close together, again stretching over. Coming to a kneeling position, stretch the right leg out, place the left hand on the floor and sweep the right hand away from you. You can make it more challenging by stretching both legs. Keep pressing the hand into the floor, lifting the side of the waist as high as possible. And before we do all that to the other side, let's come to an all fours position and melt the chest down into a puppy pose, really softening the chest, reaching the sits bones high and each exhalation, gently engage the pelvic floor and the stomach muscles. So we're gonna do that to the other side. Come to lying with the knees bent hold on to your ankle and take the leg back while lengthening the spine and each exhalation again gently engage the pelvic floor and the stomach muscles and we're going to turn in and turn out knee to knee toes to toes squeeze it in squeeze it out how much internal and external rotation can you get in the hip socket in and out, in, turn it out, in, squeeze it in and stretch that leg out long, lengthen to lift, lengthen to lower, reach it long to lift and longer to lower, up and down, keep lengthening the leg, up and 
down, up and down, up and down and then flex the foot and we're going to take little circles as if we're drawing with the heel on the opposite wall in one direction and then change the direction of those circles, Keep lengthening the leg, reaching the heel away from the top of the head and then coming up to that sitting position and we're going to stretch over opening the side of the ribs, dropping the head over. And we're going to come to that kneeling position, stretch the leg out, have the hand on the floor and stretch away. For extra challenge, add the other leg, really lengthen, 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 lift up the waist and coming down all fours position and sink the chest down into a puppy pose. This time we're going to clasp the hands behind the head and reach the elbows forwards to get an even deeper stretch. Creating length on both sides of the body. Let's come back to the all fours position. Have the hands directly underneath the shoulders, long spine. We're going to reach the right arm and left leg and stretch them up and away from each other and back. Going to the other side, reach the arm and leg away from each other, really lengthening and coming back. Again, right arm, left leg. And this time we're going to open the leg and the arm and then bring them back to center and coming back. Other side, left arm, right leg, reach them out away from center, bringing them back and bring that back in. Again, right arm, left leg, open it out and bring it back to center. Twice more, opening, drawing it back to the midline. Open, draw it back and bring that back. Left arm, right leg, open and back, open and back again open back this time cross the right leg over to the left tuck the toes look towards the foot and then we're going to bend the right knee towards the right ear and place it back on the floor back and switch cross to the left and bend to the right cross lift up that knee stretch the leg out Pick up the knee, again stretch it out. Let's bring the forearms onto the mat, lift the knee up as high as possible and we're going to take little pulses up and up. Keep lengthening through the spine and we're going to circle the leg in the hip socket and then change the direction of the circle, creating lots of space in between the knees and the shoulders the whole time. Really press the forearms down. Let's come back onto the hands and we're going to take the leg into a lizard pose. So open it up. Have your hands on the mat. Sink your hips down. And then bend that back knee. You can hold onto your ankle and twist, opening the chest. Getting a really deep stretch on the front of the hip. Gently place that foot down. Let's come back to the all fours position. Going to reach the right arm and the left leg out and open the to the side and bring it back. Open and bring it back. Open, bring it back. And change left arm, right leg open and center. Reaching it away, bring it back. Reach and back, coming up. This time we're going to cross the left leg, tuck the left toes and look towards that side and then bend the knee towards the ear and look towards that side. Bend the knee up and reach the leg away. Up, lift up as high as possible and reach it away. Lift the knee up, bend it and then straighten it bend and straighten, lift up, 
reach down, up and down. Let's move on to the forearms. Pick that leg up as high as possible. The little pulses up and up and up. Shoulders down away from the ears and circle the leg in the hip socket. Keep lengthening the spine. Creating as much movement as possible of the leg in the hip socket and changing the direction of the circle. Nice big generous circles. Press the forearms down into the mat. Lift the stomach up and come up onto the hands. Going to take that foot forward into a lizard pose. Allow the hips to sink down as you open the chest, opening the front of the thigh. And then bend the knee, hold on with the opposite hand and twist. Really deepening the stretch. Let's come onto the forearms, press them into the floor, lift the stomach and stretch the legs out so we're in a forearm plank. I'm going to rock forwards and backwards, keeping the stomach drawn in, working through the foot. And then allow the hips to sink down so that we're in a sphinx position, pressing the forearms down, opening the chest and let the head drop over. Again, press down with the forearms to open the chest, opening the collarbones, releasing down. Again, pressing down and we're going to go for a single kick, kick, kick with one leg and then kick, kick with the other. Lengthen the leg, bring the heel towards the buttocks and then stretch it out. Kick, kick, stretch it out. Coming all the way down, clasp your hands behind your back. Turn your head towards me and allow your elbows to sink down towards the floor from the opening in between the shoulder blades. And then kick, kick, kick your heels towards you. Open the chest, stretch the arms out, lengthening. Turn your head in the other direction. Hands towards your shoulders, elbows towards the floor. Really relax the neck, open in between the shoulder blades. And again, kick, kick, kick both legs and stretch it, opening, opening, opening. Double leg kick, 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 kick and open the chest, gaze the heart forwards. Kick, 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 open it up. Open the arms to the sides like a huge bird. Keep lengthening the arms, the legs, the top of the head away from each other. And press the hands down into the mat. Open the chest and take your hips back. I'm going to take a wave motion. So come forward with the round back. Allow your hips to come towards the floor. Open your chest, gaze up. And using the stomach to bring your hips back towards your heels. Again, rounding forwards, dropping the hips down. Lengthening through the spine, rounding the back all the way back and again coming forwards really elongating the spine opening the chest and turn your head to look over one shoulder and over the other shoulder open the chest just a bit more come down to lying on your stomach bend the left knee towards your left hand press the right hand and the left hand down as you rotate over to the left and bring it back again push the hands down open gaze over your left shoulder coming back down press down lengthen rotate looking back and come down let's switch arms and legs so open up your right knee press your hands down to come up and rotate looking around and coming back Lengthen the spine, lift and then rotate. Look over your right shoulder and bring it back. Again, press down, lengthening, rotating. Coming back down. Press the hands into the floor, push up and then taking the hips back towards the heels to a rest position. 
starting to wind down so really relax your head into the mat relax the shoulders coming back to the breath noticing how it flows in and out slowly rolling up one vertebra after another and come to a sitting position feet together knees apart slide your hands underneath your legs and hold on to your feet and use that to really help you drop further down into the stretch before picking your legs up we're going to do a seal clap 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 rolling back coming back and clap 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 rocking back coming back finding the balance clap 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 rock massaging through the spine and finding the balance clap 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 rock and coming back spread your legs out to wide position as wide as you want and walk the hands forwards really drop the head soften the muscles of the face use your hands to slowly walk back and we'll take a slow roll down vertebra after a vertebra come to lying on your back bring your arms and your legs to a comfortable position and really allow your body to relax and soften into the floor again notice how the breath flows in through the nose and as you exhale see if you can soften let go a little bit more take as long as you like to relax to breathe to feel the benefits of what this practice has done to your body today I hope you enjoyed this slow, full class. And please subscribe if you'd like to do some more free classes with me.